children's brunch with the family. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. I like that place. Okay, bye. Right now I'm carrying two backpacks, carrying one boosted board, riding another, two cameras. Look at all this gear I'm schlepping. The truth is, Candace was like, Casey, you have two offices. You don't need to keep two boosted boards, two computers, all your computer gear, and three backpacks in our small apartment, and I think she's right. One question I often get asked is why I use Final Cut Pro 10 over Premiere or any of the other superior editing software platforms. And the answer is pretty simple. I don't like to stop doing things to learn something new. And this is a fault of mine, I acknowledge that. Education is like a shortcut to what is otherwise attained through experience. So I should be more anxious to learn new things, but I'm not. I never want to stop and take the time to learn something new if it means pausing, actually doing. Why am I bringing this up today? Well, this is my drone. I've had this thing for several months and I've literally never flown it. The reason why I've never flown it is because I don't want to have to take the time to learn how to fly it. That changes right now. I'm downloading the app for the drone. So like, the sooner you can get here, the better. Uh, be there in 20-ish minutes. Okay, make it 17. Alright. Okay, bye. <sighs> what you may not know is that my little brother was a pilot in the US Air Force. He used to fly actual airplanes, so I've recruited him to help me in this inaugural flight of the of the drone. I'm kind of excited about this. App has been downloaded, now following instructions. Okay, connect your mobile device. I kind of feel like I should fly it in here first before we take it outside. That only makes sense. to fly this thing indoors. Okay, I just had a minor incident, but we're still full systems go. Oh, it's cool out here. Buzz the door. Okay, come in. Dude, Meltdown City, man. I flew it indoors and the thing flipped upside down and just burnt four holes in my floor. It turned upside down and was going full power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just have to replace one more propeller blade, which I broke. We are gonna go up to the roof now so I can fly this thing. This is just a very preliminary test flight. I'm not gonna fly around. I just wanna go up and then come down. Apparently there are rules and legalities here in the city that I was unaware of, so I won't be able to do a proper test flight, just like a test test flight. Here, you man this. Ready? Yeah. It's also nighttime out, which, yeah. Exercise. 
exercise extreme caution on this uh, fire escape. I mean, the only thing we can do is like step from this fire escape to that fire escape, but that's kind of dangerous. All right, turns out you cannot access the roof of this building on this fire escape. We found a spot where we could safely step over, and it's not very high, so. We're going back to plan A here. We're gonna make it to the rooftop. Yeah. What do you think? Put a full battery in there. What's that? Put a full battery in there. Mm -hmm. I got a backup battery, it's okay. What is it? What are these flashing red mean? How to connect? Turn on the remote control. Oh, that could be the problem. <laughs> okay, all that problem was because I didn't turn on the remote. Despite the strong wind, this thing is like holding its GPS position very well. You see it fighting the wind? Mm -hmm. It's impressive. Alright, I'm going to go over the edge of the building here where it's just a construction site underneath so there's no risk of it falling on anything. Whoa. Alright, bring your back. Bring your back. Okay, I would call that a wildly successful maiden voyage. I guess we should go look at the footage and get out of here before the neighbors call the police. Thanks for your help, Dean. I appreciate your support. Do you hear the sirens? Yeah. There's no way that's for us, but let's just get out of here just in case. Tremendous success. Drone still fully operational. No crashes. Uh, we got the footage. No trouble with the police as far as we know. Minus the tiny incident here in the studio earlier, I think tonight was like a fairly flawless evening. Damn it. This footage above the construction site is the best. Whoa. Pretty amazing. All right, footage looks amazing. Next time I'll shoot something for real. I hope that wasn't disappointing. Oh, that did not work out like planned.